So it's turning into a mess again here. Um, got a comment on part one of the Tomos video asking for a little bit of an update on that. I'll get to that in a second. Um, found uh, Dad actually went over to the bin about a week ago, week, week and a half, just before Christmas, and found this Johnson five and a half horsepower engine. Uh, it was stuck. It's a 1956. Uh, managed to get it unstuck. Uh, a little bit of soaking with some evaporust and two-stroke oil and freed up fairly easily. So uh, probably going to go through most of this, clean it up, see if we can get it to run. Probably redo some of the ignition in there. It's all points and condensers. So just like a moped, it's probably going to need a little work on that end. Um, other than that, I guess these things are pretty bulletproof. Lots of parts around still. And, uh, yeah, the things people throw out sometimes. It's in, it's in great shape, so just needs a good cleanup. And, uh, yeah, I just haven't got to it besides getting it unstuck. Uh, working on the sled still. Um, kind of getting into the give up stage in my brain on these things just because I've kind of had enough. But, uh, they're still fun to ride. And, uh, this one needs the tire done. Uh, I got tube in there, but I fucked up the tube a little bit, and uh, I'm getting a leak right at the valve. So, gonna have to do a new tube. All these screws have an inner lining of tube on the inside uh, that's all held down with automotive goop. So, all the points are protected from the tube itself, but uh, I guess trying to get a wheelbarrow tube around this tire with the tire and all the extra rubber in there is a chore um, and I guess I tried a little too hard rushed it maybe a little bit too much and cut it at the valve there so hopefully I will do that again we'll get sled number two going we can hopefully race them this year uh, sled number one has a bit of a chain issue uh, put a brand new chain on I think it's stretching a little bit so you have to watch the chain tension and maybe fix a spacer on the chain line a little bit it seems to want to be popping chains it could just be a tension issue um, I'll look into it a little bit more and the grounding on the lighting um, was great until uh, the actual nut holding the ground on decided to fall off and then lost a bunch of power there so um, lost a bunch of output anyway so that's the sled um sam's still up there the solar automation machine gonna be doing a little more work on that when i get my panels i got an actual uh uh power supply uh precision power supply so i can dial in and verify verify my code that i'm getting the right levels and that kind of stuff so i can test the panels properly um managed to get my amateur ham radio license uh basic with honors for now i'll be working on advanced shortly but uh Getting a bunch of my radios kind of fixed up, and this is the old Halicrafters S108. Working nice, good little shop radio. So, I usually keep it on the AM band down here, and here's where we are with the Tomos. So, the Tomos engine is mostly back together. I got the... Sh or the not shielded, but sealed bearings in behind uh, the main gear seal here. So definitely be testing that. Um, I'm thinking about doing a new ignition. And the main reason I really haven't done any kind of updates on this is I'm waiting on clutches. Uh, if you've seen the other video, I tore the pads off of uh, the new hammer clutch. So those... Uh, those uh, shoes have actually gone back to Walt. Um, he's got them ready to send back to me, but I've asked him to do a second gear. Um, it's snowing here right now. I've got a foot of snow and more coming, another 10 centimeters over the next couple days, I guess. So, I mean, mopeding is kind of out of the question. Uh, I, I've done it before, but uh, it's kind of out of the question. So, I'm going to get second gear done. We'll get first gear done. We'll give this uh, engine something that hopefully won't explode on the end of the crank here and uh, yeah we'll, we'll do it right at least hopefully <laughs> um, I'd like to get a, a performance ignition but uh, what I have is fine for now I'll, I'll debate about that uh, I'll be thinking over it um, probably do a bunch of research on 
the guys with HPI. From what I remember reading in the past, don't quote me on this, uh, is that clutches were exploding with less weight on this side. So I don't know if that's true. It very well could be. Um, so let's hope with uh, Walt's clutches on there, then maybe they maybe they'll take the beating a little bit better with an HPI setup on this side. I don't know. Um, I'm just guessing. So don't drill into me for that one. But uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, I've got a gasket down the center. So I found a gasket and I've got motor seal in there too. Just motor sealed here because I don't really want a gasket in there. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's basically where I'm at. I, I'd like to get some Viton, 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 Viton seals. Um, probably take the heat a little better than just these crappy little guys, but, uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, radio stuff, most lead stuff, outboard stuff, solar stuff, and Tomo stuff. Um, yeah. This place just turns into a disaster every time I get doing something. But, yep, that's where I'm at. That's my update. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully we'll get this puppy going in the spring. Um, I can't wait. I really can't. Like, I want it to go now, but there's just, it's, yeah, snow. So we'll work on the sleds. We'll have some fun with the sleds. And this will go as soon as I get clutches. Thanks again. Take care.